Now the horrific pictures from the Texas Panhandle and those fires continue to come in as heroic firefighters are continuing to push into another day. Yeah, and today Governor Greg Abbott will be in Borger. That's one of the towns hit hardest by these wildfires. He is expected to talk about the state's ongoing efforts to help people who are the most impacted. Uh, take a look at this map here. It's from the Texas A&M Forest Service, and it shows the active fires happening right now in the panhandle. Each red dot you see there is a wildfire location. The largest is the Smokehouse Creek fire. Only 5% contained this morning. Larry Collins keeping a close eye on this ongoing situation. Larry, good morning. Absolutely good morning. You know, this is now the largest wildfire in the history of the state of Texas. More than a million acres burned, and it will be another busy, potentially dangerous day for firefighters. Now, this video right here coming in from the Wheeler Fire Department. Firefighters doing their best blasting water into intense flames. That firefighter there standing on a vehicle trying to keep the flames at bay to keep them away. Now, this is just one of the many harrowing scenes from that Smokehouse Creek fire. Now, these Texas wildfires are affecting land and homes bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. This is video from Fritch, Texas, showing a swath of scorched homes and property across that region, really a path of destruction. And now two people have been killed. We are now seeing photos of those victims. 83-year-old Joyce Blankenship was found dead in her home. According to family members, she's a former teacher. And then Cindy Owens. The Department of uh, Public Safety now saying that she has also passed away two days after she got out of her truck and was severely burned. Now, NBC5 reporter Candace Sweat is there at the Panhandle and has been speaking with those who have lost their homes. This was our living room here. There was a, a fireplace in there. Uh, the house originally had 14 foot ceilings in the bottom and, a, a, and a upstairs. This is the front porch. And uh, there's a gap there. That's where the the uh, door was. The deputies came in and forced us to leave. We uh, I, we were trying to get our stuff out and to drive our own car, and they forced us to leave. They put her in one car and me in another, and forced us to leave. Yeah, now across the region, thousands of cattle also lost in these fires. The Forest Service says there are again increased conditions for the possibility of more wildfires over the weekend.